In today's video, I have some beautiful DIY lemon decor projects to share with you. Welcome to my channel, Creatively Expressive. My name is Amy, and on my channel, I share DIYs, thrift flips, budget decor, and all things creative. If you're new here, I would love it if you would become a part of my creative family by clicking that subscribe button below my video. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Now without any further ado, let's get into project number one. For this project, I am using this wood round kit that I found at Goodwill for $5.49. This wood hello cutout that I got from Michaels. And one of these wooden lemon cutouts that I got from Amazon. This wooden round comes with these flower cutouts and I am just going to remove those and save them for another project. First I want to tape off a section of the round at the top. I am just placing the other elements on the sign on the round to figure out where I want to place my tape. Now I'm going to stain that top section with some antique wax. I brush the wax on with a paintbrush and then I wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. I am going to set that aside to dry and then I am going to use the same antique wax to stain the Hello Word cutout. When the wax is dry on the wood round, I will place a piece of painter's tape right along the edge of the stained area. Then I'm going to place another piece of painter's tape on the round making a middle section. And I will paint that middle section with the color Maze by Waverly. I don't want to get any bleed through with this color on the stained area, so I'm painting along the tape and I'm making sure I apply light coats and pulling my sponge brush away from the tape when applying my paint. When the yellow paint is dry, I'm going to place a piece of tape along the edge of the yellow area. And for this area, to make sure I don't get any bleed through with the next color, I'm going to paint right over the edge of the tape with the yellow paint first. I will let that dry and that will seal in the edge of the tape. Now I'm going to paint the bottom section of my wood round with the color Ivory by Waverly. I want to paint some lemons in the ivory section, so I went to the Silhouette Design Store and I found this cup file to use as a template and I applied it to the ivory section. I wanted to make the lemons look like they were painted with watercolors, so I'm going to mix some yellow acrylic paint with water. I dip my brush into the watercolor and then I dab off some of the excess on the side of the cup so that the brush isn't too wet and my paint doesn't run. And then I'm just going to fill in that back lemon with the yellow watercolor. Then I paint the wood lemon cutout with the same yellow color. Now I'm going to add some golden sunset to my yellow watercolor to darken it up a bit. And I will use that new color to paint around the edges of my lemon. I dip my brush in some water and I paint over the edge of the new color to blend it out so that I am not left with any harsh lines. And now I will just repeat those same steps with the wood lemon cutout. And you don't have to be precise with this. I'm just playing with the paints and the water and making stuff up as I go here. My goal is to create shadows and highlights on the lemons. I want the shadows to be near the edges and the highlights to be near the center. Doing this will make my lemons look more round and realistic and less flat. For the highlighted areas, I am going to mix up some of this color Sunny Day, which is a lighter shade of yellow, with some water. And I will use that paint in the center areas of my lemons. And again, I am using some water on my brush to blend out the edges of the color. I want to darken up the edges of the lemons just a bit more, so I'm going to mix the color cinnamon in with the darker yellow watercolor. Then I will go over the edges of my lemon with that new darker color. 
And now you can see the shape of the lemon really start to pop. Now I'm going to add a few dimples to the lemons by making small dots on them with the darker watercolor. For the leaves, I am going to water down the color Moss by Waverly. When I place the word hello on the wood round, it covers up one of the top leaves, so I'm just going to skip that leaf when I paint. Now I'm going to paint around the edges of all the leaves except for the top right one. And I will also paint around the edges of the little flower buds. Then I remove my stencil template. Now I will fill in the leaves and add stems to them like the stencil had. And I fill in the area between the lemon and the leaves so that the leaves are touching the lemon. I am not really worried about shading too much yet. Right now I am more focused on shaping the leaves and the stems. Now I'm going to water down the color Celery Green by Waverly in a separate cup from the moss green. Then I'm going to put some of this color Arbor Green on a paper plate and mix it together with some of the moss green. Now that I have three shades of green, I will start shading and highlighting my leaves. And I am just going back and forth between the three colors and my water, adding them to the leaves. I use the darker colors towards the outer edges of the leaves, the lighter color towards the centers, and the water to blend the colors together. With the darkest color that is on the plate, I am using just the smallest amount and using my water to blend it out. And I will use that color for the stems, the veins on the leaves, and to outline the leaves. Now I will take a bit of white paint and use it to color in the centers of those little flower buds. I use the water to blend it and add some more green around the edges of the buds. Now I am using the smallest amount of black paint to add a few lines here and there to the lemons and the leaves just to add a little bit more interest and give them a little bit more dimension. Now that I am finished with my watercolor, I will use Starbond Super Glue to glue the wood lemon cutout to the lemon and the leaves on the wood round. Then I will use Starbond Super Glue to glue the word hello to the wood round above the lemons. Now I want to add a bow, and I am using this lemon ribbon that I got from Amazon to make one. And this is going to be really sped up because I know this craft is taking a long time. I cut three 16 inch pieces of ribbon and one 7 inch piece. I am going to glue the 7 inch piece into a loop and two of the 16 inch pieces into loops. And I will fold the last piece in half and dovetail the ends. Now I take the two larger loops and I pinch them together. Then I pinch the tail in the center and add it to the back of the bow and add the small loop to the front. Then I will use a zip tie to secure all the pieces together. 
But I am not going to tighten the zip tie all the way yet though. Now I'm going to add some of this eucalyptus that I found at my grocery store to the bow. I add two stems to each side of the bow, I tighten the zip tie, and then I cut off the long ends of the tie and the eucalyptus stems. Then I will use a staple gun to staple the eucalyptus stems to the wood round. And now all I need to do is staple a jute hanger to the back of the round and this project is complete. I absolutely love how this one turned out. I was actually inspired to make this by a Winnie the Pooh coffee mug that my son got me. It's an ivory color with a creamy yellow on the inside with a watercolor picture of Pooh and Piglet on it. And I fell in love with the colors and the watercolor image and was inspired to make my own watercolor image. And I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Now for project number two. For this project, I'm using three ceramic mason jars that I found at Goodwill. I have two yellow ones and one white one. This decorative tin toolbox that I found at Goodwill for $2.49. And four of these lemon floral picks that I got from Michaels. I cleaned the toolbox and now I'm going to use black chalk paint to paint over the chalkboard area on the box. Then I went into my Silhouette Design Studio and I designed this stencil to fit on the chalkboard area and cut it out on stencil vinyl. I apply the stencil to the toolbox and then I will paint over it first with black chalk paint to seal in the edges of the stencil. When the black paint is dry, I will paint over the stencil with white chalk paint. I apply two coats of the white paint and then I remove the stencil. Now I'm going to fill in the three mason jars with floral foam. Then I cover the foam with some moss. Now I'll place the jars in the toolbox, cut the picks apart, and fill the jars with the lemons and the lemon blossoms. And now this project is complete. Let me know what you guys think. Now for project number three. For this project, I'm using this metal pail that I got from Dollar Tree, this 4.7 inch foam ball that I got from Walmart, one of these ivy leaf garlands that I got from Dollar Tree, 11 lemons from this bag that I found at Goodwill for $3.49, three of these FICA stems that I got from Walmart for $4 each, and three of these 3 8 inch dowels that I got from Walmart. The first thing I'm going to do is fill up the pail with two of these floral foam blocks from Dollar Tree and this round star from Disc from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to use antique wax to stain the three wooden dowels. I brush the wax on with a paintbrush and I wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. 
Once they are dry, I'm going to push the three of them together through the foam in the metal pail. Now I'm going to separate the ivy garland. For this project, I only need the brown part of the garland. Starting at the top of the dowels, I will start twisting the brown wire around the dowels. When I get to the bottom, I just continue wrapping, going in the opposite direction, back up towards the top. When I get back to the top, I have just enough to wrap it around one more time, ending at the bottom of the dowels. I'm going to hot glue the end of the wire to the dowels, and then I will pull the dowels out of the foam, squirt some hot glue into the hole, and then push the dowels back into the hole. Now I'm taking the styrofoam ball and pushing it down on top of the dowels. I pull it back off, put some hot glue in the hole in the ball, and then push the ball back onto the dowels. Now I'm going to use some wooden toothpicks, but I should have used some wooden skewers for this step instead. But anyways, I poke a hole into the lemon, add some hot glue to the hole, and then push a toothpick into it. Then I put hot glue on the other end of the toothpick and insert it into the styrofoam ball. After doing this with a few of the lemons though, I decided that it would be better to apply the hot glue to the other end of the toothpick after I have added all the lemons to the ball. That way I can figure out the placement of my lemons before gluing them on. At this point, I know it looks a little crazy, but stay with me. It will get better. I promise. My son and my husband were skeptical, though. Now I'm going to pull off all the leaves off of the ficus stem, and I also want to use some of these berries from this pick that I got from Walmart. Kind of some wonky looking, huh? Yeah, you think that looks good when you put all the leaves on it? Yep. We'll see. <laughs> Well, one way to find out, right? Yeah. Put them on there and see. Shane said, do you think this is going to look good when you put all the leaves on it? I said, yeah. And then I said, we'll see. There's only one way to find out. Put them on there. Now I'm going to add a few of the berry picks to the ball. To apply the leaves, I'm using a wooden skewer to poke a hole in the ball. Then I will add some hot glue to the hole and then stick the leaf into the hole. And I have my glue gun temperature set to low when working with styrofoam. I am placing the leaves in all different directions so that they look more natural like you would see on a lemon tree. And I am just going to keep adding leaves to fill up the empty space. I want it to look full, but I am not worried about filling up all the space to completely cover the white ball because I have another idea to cover up the white area, and I will do that in just a minute. And like I mentioned earlier, I ended up using the leaves from three of these ficus picks. Now that I have filled up the majority of the empty space, I'm going to cover up the rest of the white space with some green moss. To do that, I'm pushing the leaves aside and covering the white parts of the ball with hot glue. Then I am cutting small amounts of moss and sticking it to the glue. And the reason I didn't do this before adding the lemons and the leaves is that I thought the hardened glue on the styrofoam would make it difficult to poke the holes into it to add them. I will carefully keep adding glue to the blank spaces and then fill them in with the moss until there are no longer any white spaces visible. Now all I have to do is cover the foam in the pail with the moss. I add glue to the foam in the pail and then I press the moss into it. And now this project is complete. I love the way this one turned out. Let me know what you guys think. 
I saw a lemon topiary similar to this one online at Michael's that is priced at 50% off for $62. And this one cost me a little less than half of the 50% off price to make, and I actually like mine better. Now for project number four. For this project, I'm using this sign that I found at Goodwill for 99 cents. First, I sanded the paint off of the sign. Now I'm going to paint the front of the sign with this color coffee bean. Then I went into my Silhouette Design Studio and I designed this decal to fit on the sign and I cut it out on stencil vinyl. I apply the stencil to the sign and then I'm going to paint over it with the coffee bean color to seal in the edges of my stencil. Now that the brown paint is dry, I'm going to paint over the entire sign with ivory chalk paint. First, I paint the edges of the sign, and then I will paint the front and the back. Now I peel off the stencil, revealing the brown paint underneath. Now I'm going to cover the sign with a coat of matte Mod Podge and let it dry. Then I am going to tape a piece of white tissue paper to a piece of cardstock and then I will print out a lemon slice on it. I purchased this lemon image on Etsy and I will include a link to it in the description box. Now I'm going to cut the lemon out, and I'm going to cut right along the edge of the lemon so no white tissue paper remains. And the lemon is going to be the O in the word lemonade on my sign. To apply the lemon to the sign, I'm using a mini heat press to stick it to the sign. When you apply heat to the dry Mod Podge, it reactivates the Mod Podge, making the lemon stick to the sign. And I am placing a piece of parchment paper in between the heat press and the sign. Now I'm going to apply another coat of Mod Podge on top of the lemon to seal it. For the last step, I decided to sand the edges of the sign to distress it just a bit. I also added a sawtooth hanger to the back of the sign, and now this project is complete. Let me know what you guys think of this one. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Please let me know what your favorite project was in the comments section below. I would like to thank you for watching and supporting my channel. If you enjoyed today's video and want to help me grow my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, leave me a quick comment, and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.